follow our Seller Circle guys, didn't you? Yes. So essentially I call it, it the Bible person. The Bible. <laughs> <laughs>
Nothing. Not doing good today, I must admit. What's your expectations of Aldi? Not high, I must admit, not high, because they don't really focus on branded items. They very much have a lot of their own brand in here. That's where they keep their costs down low. They're very much grocery as well. There's a lot much sort of things that aren't normal human food. Yeah, special buys. Yeah, nothing too incredible, I must admit. Grocery does do well on Amazon, but not the very common things. Uh, I've seen these around before. See, again, you can be quite confused because this product here, if I scan it, it comes up and I'm thinking, I haven't put my cost price in yet. The profit is £7.31, 14,000 sales per month. But what you've got to look at is, it's not the same product. That is a completely different product. Slim, slim Fast Caramel. This is Slim Fast Banana, and we've also got a different size. So, what we're going to have to do here is give it a little bit of a search. What would happen if you sent the wrong product? Could, it, could you even scan it? Yeah, because if Amazon scan this, they just think they, they don't look, they're not going to see this and go, oh, well, that's not the right thing. They've not got time for checking all that. So, it would get shipped off to a customer and the customer would receive a banana one rather than a caramel one. You get lots of returns if you didn't cancel the listing right away and get the stock return back to you so that you can actually put it on the correct listing and you just left it, you'd get a high amount of returns if you know you sell I don't know 100 products and 30 of them are returned Amazon are going to give you a very bad NCX score that is basically the quality of your listing the quality of the product that you're sending in so they'll most likely not allow you to sell on that listing anymore due to that reason that you're probably selling some sort of a dodgy product that doesn't work that well that NCX score usually is going to be at pretty much zero or below 1% because no one's really getting a high level of returns the only time you've ever noticed it is if you sent a product in that is the wrong size. Maybe it's a three pack, but you're only sending in a two pack. That's going to bring the score up. Usually your score will be brought up and boom, your list will be deactivated unless you take it out quickly. So it's very rare that people see anything to do with an NCX score unless you're sending in the wrong thing. Did you used to work out? <laughs> no. Used to work in Waitrose. I used to work in Waitrose. Waitrose? Yeah, I used to work in Waitrose back in the day. I was on the meat and fish counter, chopping steaks, chopping fish, gutting fish, you name it. When they asked, this is a funny story, when they asked me to do the meat and fish, I was like, I don't like touching meat, don't like fish, never like fish, I can eat like battered cod, that's it. And um, they were like, oh, come on, come on, I'm like, and it stinks, literally it stinks. I used to put cotton wool up my nose when I was working on there, when I first started, and then like I got all right at it, but you'd go home just like stinking a fish, it was disgusting. No, that's fun. So, do you eat fish now? No. Well, cod, battered, that's it. Just fish and chips. <laughs> yeah, just fish and chips. So English. How long have you got from? Oh, God, it's really been about three years. Ever since I was 16, we left when I was about 19. Yeah, about three years ish. Not too bad. Enjoyed it though. Nope. That's your only job? Only job I've ever had. Yeah, only job I've ever had. Straight into Amazon. So again, we seem to be experiencing very low sales per month. This one here, 10 sales per month, 4.99 buy price. Uh, let's give it a scan again. 4.99 buy price, 10 sales per month. Absolutely nothing. It's probably not even really worth your time. One pound 26 profit. Not much at all for me. I'd stay away from it. It's not looking good in here. I must admit. These are the types of things you know that the branded products that you would assume would be making money on here, but just not getting it here. Bit of Tommy TP actually. I've seen some good Tommy TP in Aldi before. Trying to cover up the barcode with a security tag. Let's try these. Not coming up. Interesting. Let me type these in instead. £19.50 on Amazon uh, and they're £22.99 here. I'd assume that's probably Amazon selling them. Uh, and they, they've been in this SAS before for £10. I've had that on my SAS. So must have scanned these somewhere else for £10 before. Let's try these portable blackout blinds. No price on the portable. Oh no, still £22.99. I've had these on here before at £7.50 so maybe it's Smith's maybe it's Audi before not sure but these do make money if you can buy them at the right price give it a Google usually if you just Google the product and the brand it will come up with the different stores and the prices usually the cheapest one will be at the top so if it's in Smith's relatively cheap it's going to come up at the top do you know where you want to get yourself Sean? Greg's. Greg, we're going Greg's uh, right now. Greg, oh, could we? A little bit of a Nelson. Wait, Greg's. Yeah? No, not wrong. We're not a pasty. 
You've never had a pasty? No, no. No, I've had a pasty. You've ever had a life. sausage roll? No, I never, uh, no, I never had a sausage roll. Had You've a never had a sausage roll? Nah. We're going to come over here and you're going to try a sausage roll for oh, the video. Oh, yeah, I'll have a little bite. I'll have a little, little bite. bite. <laughs> <laughs> Like I was saying, we've pretty much gone through all of the special buys here. We've gone up and down, and there's nothing really here apart from what I pointed out to you. I think Audi is going to be very hit and miss, and I'm assuming each store is probably going to have roughly the same stuff as well, the same special buys. So it may be worth, you know, you see this screen here. This screen's got all of the different deals on there. It may be worth checking out those screens, checking out the little magazines that they've got on the front, and keeping up to date with it. See what's coming in. Have a check on the magazine type it into Amazon before you even come in here so that when you know it's in here if it's working if it's something you can buy boom get down there Monday morning pick them up I'm not sure when the offers change but I'm pretty sure it is on a set day that's going to be your best shout we don't know other Audis could be better but I'm assuming due to their business model it's all going to be the same offers in each store but let's have a look and see first sausage roll yeah, come on Milo here it's going to try his first ever sausage roll never had a sausage roll before can you actually confirm that Big bite. Big bite. Bit, pull, it, pull it out a bit more. No, pull it out a bit more. Go. Get a big bite. There we go. <laughs> No, I think not too bad, we got. Not too bad? Will you eat the whole thing? No. <laughs> Clearly not that good then. So here we are at a little, little number one. Not sure how many we're going to have a chance to go to today. Let's have a look inside. I must admit, I do not have high hopes for this. I didn't have high hopes for Audi and it disappointed. So let's get inside. Let's have a look in little, see if it's any better. I doubt it. But anyhow, I think the shops are better in certain times of the year when they've got those clearance items there. But anyhow, let's get inside. Let's have a look. So, right out of the gate, I may have been deceived. Some of these brands look like much bigger brands. I'm not sure if Lidl have their own brand. I'm sure they do. It looks the same vibe as Aldi. But even still, I can see, uh, for example, some Salter Scales here. Yes, they are broken, but we can have a look. Silver Crest, there's a few different things. So let's get scanning. Let's see what we can find. Funko. Where is it though? They're here. 14, oh, no, 9.99. Too bad that they're selling on Amazon for 13 pound. No money, no money to be made on that one either. I think Funko has passed its day now. Silver Crest is a little brand, so these are little branded items as well. They're not usually organically been searched on Amazon, which means they're either not on there usually, or not many people are buying them. I, I've seen people use like that Amazon seller sexual and scam. Why would you use this all that? This just gives you way more data. The Amazon Seller Central app doesn't actually tell you sales per month. It will give you a ranking, but something that's ranked a thousand in one category will sell differently to something that's ranked a thousand in another category. So that's why we like to use SaaS because it gives you those sales per month. It's got a good profit calculator on there. It's got everything. The Amazon one's just a bit janky, not a fan of it. If you want to be efficient, scan things as quickly as you can, use SaaS. It's way better, way easier, and it's worth the investment for the time you're saving. And what about Buybot Pro? Buybot Pro is good. It's more for wholesale. They do have an app called Buybot Go. Um, it's not as good as SaaS for OARA. I always say to people, if you're doing OARA, use Seller App SaaS. That gives you your sales per month, gives you everything. When you move over to wholesale, better to use Jungle Scout. It's more accurate on your sales per month. And then Buybot Pro for your profit calculator and all of your graphs. Do it on the computer. I wouldn't use either of them on the phone. I would just use SaaS. Link for SaaS, of course, will be down below. Oh, no. Not enough profit in these. They are on Amazon though. Ooh, we've got some different types, yeah. One pound profit per unit on these ones. 22 sales per month, nothing mental. Let's see if these other ones do well as well. Again, these ones here seem to be about one pound profit per unit. Not massive sales per month. Probably something that you don't want to waste your time with. We have got some Rogue Lego here. It doesn't appear to be on Amazon under the barcode on its packaging. What we can do though is find out what it is piece of storage four multi-pack mm. how much is this storage bricks 29.99 it's on amazon for 27.59 so again not always will this work again that's retail art, online arbitrage for you i think a lot of people they'll come out and they'll try it in stores like this which aren't the best stores to do it so we have leads for all the different stores that are out there that you can use you don't have to waste your time scanning every single thing you can just buy what we're telling you to buy that can work a lot easier a lot of scanning not much profit a lot of things 
things that aren't profitable, a lot of things that aren't on Amazon seems to be very much a recurring trend of Lidl and Aldi. Uh, whether that's because they are big brands but they're not very popular products from the big brands, that could be a case, potentially. Let's have a look. So, um, How much time have we been yeah. scanning these? In store, probably not that long, probably only about 20 minutes. It's just your travel time between the two stores that are going to cause you issues and is going to take some time overall. Who's out for Bev's on the combination? Have sold Flymo lawnmowers before. They look very much like this one. How much did you use? Brought them for around this price, which makes me think that it's probably not this one. I think it was a uh, higher level Flymo. I used to sell them for about um, 270, 279 ish. Ridiculously cheap. Very, very, very good deal. That is all I shall say. How are you finding our product like that? Seller Circle, join Seller Circle. We've got a section which tells you what products to buy, where to buy them from, how to buy them from, all the guides on setting up your Amazon account as well. So make sure to check it out. Oh, come on. Yes. Oh, think of them. I think they're decent, mate. 15 quid, not bad. Pretty stylish. I need some new ones, mate. You sold some of these? Yeah, when I first started, sold some of these accidentally on a private label listing. God, I bought like 300 of them, imported them over from Pakistan. Um, and when they got there, I got literally booted off the listing right away. So ended up selling them to one of my mates called Sean. He's a market trader, shout out to Sean, for something like 50p a pop. And he just got rid of them for me and they cost me like thousands. But there we go. That's why you need to go to somewhere that can teach you exactly what to do, how to buy products. Make sure that you're not selling any private label products or anything like that. Is that not a your account, yes, but not quite as much back then. They wouldn't hit you as hard with IP claims right away. They'd instead like send you a message. The seller would send you a message like, immediately get off this listing right away. That's what they'd send over rather than hitting you with an IP claim instantly. So it was better back then. Nowadays they're boom, IP claim, slap you with it. And then, you know, if you have one IP claim on your account and you haven't done much volume, you can run your account at a high level of risk and it can get deactivated activated pretty quickly so best to deal with them and again we can help you deal with those within seller circle as well so just had a message from one of our members joshua hallowell uh we actually he put a story on just earlier now saying college break fba time if you ask me nice weather we ain't got nice weather like that uh he's just sent a video we've said to him let's shoot a seller circle video youtube video let's see what he sent to us you ready Josh, we're ready to go. Here we are. You're live on this week's YouTube video. Let's make a YouTube video. Let's see you next week. Me and Tom are ready. Let us know your availability. We'll come over to you, film a beautiful video. Let's go. We are heading off. Must admit, Lidl does not have anything good for retail arbitrage that we saw. Pretty much all terrible. Audi and Lidl seem to be the same thing. So, so guys, thank you so much for watching this week's YouTube video. As you can see, Aldi and Lidl, neither of them were fantastic. The best thing that you're going to need to do is your research onto their websites and also into the magazines to see when those good deals are coming in. It's really only going to be the hot deals that they've got in there at any one time that you're going to be able to make money on unless there is the occasional piece of food or cleaning, I don't know, liquid or something every now and again that you can actually make money on. So overall, terrible ratings for both of them. I would try and stay away unless you see leads four products within there in the seller circle discord now next week's youtube video is going to be a packing video we actually filmed a video showing you guys how to pack products yourselves and just to show how simple that is when you're sending stuff into amazon it's very very simple we've also got a podcast coming out very very soon with one of our most successful members called jazz and we're also brought an amazon returns palette which is going to be going live on youtube very very, very soon we're going to show you what was on the returns palette whether we make any money from it etc so lots of content coming to the youtube channel very very soon if you are interested in getting involved with seller
Stella Circle or would like to learn more, make sure to check out our website in the description. I'll also put the link in there for you to be able to book a one-to-one -one call with myself. We can have a chat about Stella Circle, whether it be online retail, arbitrage, wholesale, whatever it may be. Make sure to like and subscribe. Drop a comment if you like this video. Drop a comment for what you want to see soon and I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.